40 meters below. At 40 meters below the surface, the world is different. Alien. The noise of life above fades away and new sounds emerge. You hear corals crackling, the faint crunch of fish grazing on rock, and your own breath echoing in your ears. In. Out. It's a different kind of breathing. A calm one. A slow one. A more deliberate one. In. Out. Your bubbles drift upward toward the light and you are profoundly aware of your depth and the vastness above you. The power the ocean holds over you is undeniable. The deeper you go, the more colors disappear. Red Spanish first, then oranges and yellows, until only blues and violets remain. It's beautiful, peaceful, but haunting. You are a guest in a vast, powerful world that many people will never witness. That was my deepest dive. I remember it vividly. The fear and excitement rushing through my body the further I descended into the unknown. I felt small, humbled. You become part of something bigger, older, more powerful, and far more fragile. Because down there, everything feels fragile. And the deeper I've gone, the more I've understood. This world, our oceans, is quietly changing. I started diving nearly 20 years ago and have since explored many oceans around the world. I've been lucky to encounter a variety of marine creatures, ranging from the smallest inhabitants of the reef to the largest predators. Every creature, no matter how big or small, plays a vital role in the systems beneath the surface. Everything depends on each other, and life is sustained in a delicate, an intricate balance. But there have been changes, and it's still changing. Subtle signs, fewer fish, warmer currents, murkier visibility, small shifts that hit at something bigger, that something is quietly unraveling. The change isn't dramatic like a wildfire or flood. It's subtle, but it's steady, and it's spreading. You start to realize that climate change isn't coming. It's already here. It's just under the surface, fewer people are looking. That's the cruel truth about climate change. It rarely screams, it whispers. And by the time we hear it, it's already done the damage. The oceans are absorbing the heat of our actions. They are swelling with melting ice, shifting with stronger storms, acidifying silently. Yet, above the surface, we carry on, distracted. One of the most striking things about diving is how borderless it feels. I've dived in different countries under different flags, but the water is always the same. It doesn't ask for your nationality. The ocean connects everything. Currents move warmth and nutrients across the globe. Species migrate across the waves. The ocean shapes our global weather systems but it doesn't stop there. The same current spread microplastics, heat, and consequences. 
A cloud of smoke in one nation causes a flood in another. Plastic dumped on one shore turns up on the most distant beaches. Oil spilled in one place silently drifts to another. Pollution doesn't stop at borders, and neither does climate change. But we still act like it does. We negotiate environmental policy like it's a local problem, when in truth, it's planetary. The ocean teaches us days know them or us. Just us, all of us. As a diver, you learn discipline and you learn to respect the environment. You don't kick up the sand. You don't chase the marine life. Heck, you don't even touch the marine life. It's one of the number one rules you learn very early on. You move carefully, knowing you're in someone else's world. It teaches you something vital, that you are part of a system and that systems are fragile. This system can mean life or death. What if we carry that same mindset with us above the surface? What if we move through life with more awareness of our impact? What if we realize that nature is not just a backdrop, but the very foundation of our lives? What if diving slows you down? It teaches you to notice. And that's exactly what our planet and the system we all depend on needs from us right now. The system that keeps us alive. When I surfaced from that 40 meter dive, I carried more than memories. I carried perspective. The ocean had revealed something deeper than its reefs and wrecks. It had shown me the truth of our world. Everything is connected. No matter where we live, what language we speak, or how far we are from the shore, we are all part of the same fragile system. And we all have a role in protecting it. What happens below the surface reflects what's happening above. The ocean holds the memory of every oil spill, every degree of warming, every lost species. It reminds us that nothing we do happens in isolation. The destruction of the natural world doesn't come in waves, it creeps in slowly, quietly, normalized. But diving taught me that when you truly pay attention, you can't see the cracks before they spread. The ocean doesn't need us to save it. It will adapt one way or another. What's truly at stake is us, our future, our children's future, our survival. So maybe it's time you stopped thinking in borders and started thinking in ecosystems. Climate change doesn't stop at the shoreline, and neither should we. If we act collectively, consume more consciously, live more deliberately and educate more widely, we can slow this unraveling. It starts with noticing, with caring, with understanding that the small actions of the many can shift the tide. We can reduce what we waste, rethink how we travel and choose products that don't cost the earth. We can protect the ocean's allies, mangroves, seagrasses, salt marshes that capture carbon and to protect marine life. We can hold leaders and industries accountable and amplify the voices of those fighting to preserve what remains. We can use our platforms, no matter how small, to speak, share and spark change. We can teach our children not just to love nature, but to defend it. Because apathy is as dangerous as pollution and silence 
as harmful as the rising seas. This moment calls for more than awareness. It calls for courage, the courage to act differently, to think beyond borders, to live as if our choices ripple outwards, because they do. We are not just passengers on this planet. We are stewards, and it's time we acted like it. The ocean is still breathing, still alive still waiting and we still have time just enough to protect what matters the most but only if we dive deep together thank you